In December 2019, there was a cluster of pneumonia cases in China. Investigations found that it was caused by a previously unknown virus. Named the 2019 novel coronavirus. Now, it is commonly known as the COVID-19. In this video we'll take a closer look at what's currently known about the virus. And how it affected our lives. But, before that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And please like this video and hit the notification bell for updates. Let's go! We are in the middle of the year 2020. And still. This dangerous and deadly pandemic is affecting people all over the world. Coronaviruses. Are a large group of viruses that consist of a core of genetic material. Surrounded by an envelope with protein spikes. This gives its appearance of a crown. The name coronavirus is derived from Latin word corona, meaning crown. That's how these viruses got their name. There are different types of coronaviruses that cause respiratory and sometimes gastrointestinal symptoms. Respiratory disease can range from the common cold to pneumonia. And in most people the symptoms tend to be mild. However, there are some types of coronaviruses that can cause severe disease. These include the severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus and the Middle East respiratory syndrome coronavirus. So where did the virus really came from? It is known that Coronaviruses circulate in a range of animals. Sometimes these viruses can make the jump from animals to humans. This is called a spillover and could be due to a range of factors, such as mutations in the virus or increased contact between humans and animals. For example, MERS-CoV or the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus was first identified in Saudi Arabia in 2012, known to be transmitted from camels. And SARS-CoV or Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus first identified in China in 2003, known to be transmitted from civet cats. The animal reservoir of the COVID-19 is not known yet. But several of the early reported cases was first identified in China. It initially occurred in a group of people with pneumonia, who'd been associated with a seafood and live animal market in the city of Wuhan. And so the virus is thought to have a zoonotic origin. The virus that caused the outbreak is known as SARS-CoV-2, a newly discovered virus closely related to bat coronaviruses, pangolin coronaviruses, and SARS-CoV. The disease has since spread from those who were sick to others including family members and healthcare staff. There are many cases at present. And the disease has spread within China and also to a number of other countries. How is it transmitted? The new coronavirus is a respiratory virus which spreads primarily through droplets generated when an infected person coughs or sneezes, or through droplets of saliva or discharge from the nose or through something that has been contaminated with the virus. The virus infects people of all ages. However, evidence to date suggests that two groups of people are at a higher risk of getting severe COVID-19 disease. These are older people, aged 60 and above, and those with underlying medical conditions, such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, chronic respiratory disease, and cancer. The risk of severe disease gradually increases with age starting from around 40 years. People over 40 seem to be more vulnerable than those under 40. Also, people with weakened immune systems and people with conditions such as diabetes, heart and lung disease, are also more vulnerable to serious illness. People most at risk of infection from COVID-19 are those who are caring for people infected with the virus such as family members or healthcare workers that are exposed to aerosol-generating procedures such as nebulization, suctioning, intubation and the likes. How does the disease present? The virus can cause a range of symptoms, ranging from mild illness to pneumonia. Patients may complain of fever, severe headache, malice, and respiratory symptoms such as cough and shortness of breath. Some patients may have aches and pains, nasal congestion, runny nose, or sore throat. These symptoms are usually mild and begin gradually. On average it takes 5 to 6 days. From when someone is infected with the virus for symptoms to show. However, it can take up to 14 days. There are some patients that are asymptomatic laboratory confirmed case. They are people infected with COVID-19 who does not develop symptoms. Asymptomatic transmission refers to transmission of the virus from a person 
who does not develop symptoms. How can we tell whether someone is infected? The infection can be diagnosed by a test. Called PCR or polymerase chain reaction. This test identifies the virus based on its genetic fingerprint. There is currently no specific medication for the virus and treatment is supportive care. How do we prevent transmission of the virus? There are a number of standard hygiene practices that have been recommended to protect against infection and further spread. These include covering your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing with a medical mask, tissue or flexed elbow, avoiding close contact with those who are unwell, the appropriate use of masks and personal protective equipment, especially in the healthcare setting, washing hands regularly with soap and water, or alcohol-based hand rub. Actions that can be taken to prevent infection from the animal source include avoiding unnecessary unprotected contact with animals, washing hands after contact with animals or animal products, and ensuring that animal products are cooked thoroughly before they're consumed. It's important to stay home if you're feeling unwell, but if you have a fever, cough, or difficulty breathing, seek medical care early and share your previous travel history with your healthcare provider. That's a quick look at this emerging infectious disease. This outbreak is evolving rapidly. What's known about this virus can change in a matter of days. Be updated. Please check the website of WHO for most up-to-date information. And that's all. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. Watch out for more interesting contents from this channel soon.